Hey, this is Matthew Versteeg with iAutomate, and we are back with the Schema Localizer plugin setup. On this video, we're going to cover the last section of the plugin, which is your area served or your what we call your offer markup. Okay, so what is this for? Okay, this is for displaying a specific service in a specific area. Okay, so how would I use this um, this part of the form? In what cases would I use it in? I only use this section of the form if I'm doing a landing page for a city that my business is not in. Okay, so like, let's just say this was in um, uh, Tampa, Florida, okay? And I wanted to, uh, let's say the business was located in Tampa, Florida, and I had... Uh, a page on my site for Riverview, Florida, okay, which is like a suburb of Tampa. And I don't have a verified location, let's say in Riverview. I would have a Riverview page on my site and I would put this area served offer markup on that Riverview page to help give me additional authority for that area, additional relevance for that area. Because I don't have a business that's in Riverview, it's in Tampa, let's say. I can put this markup on the Riverview page and actually get, you know, the city, the zip code, uh, and even the kind of uh, service, which we'll cover in a second, uh, into that markup. So we're now um, getting more and more relevance for that Riverview page, and it will help that Riverview page to rank higher. So this is something I always do when my clients have you know, let's say a, a big area they want to cover, they've got one or, or more physical locations, but they want to rank in all these suburbs and all these areas. We don't have locations in all of those. So this is a great way to add it to a city page to get rankings for that area. It's not going to rank you alone, but it, if you use it in conjunction with good content and some other internal linking strategies and some other little tricks, which we'll show you along the way as you get to know us more, you can rank these suburb pages really easily in tough niches too, by the way, um, done in real estate and lots of contracting kind of niches. So works very, very well. So how do you do it? You need at minimum the local business type. So you can just press autofill. It will grab it from up above where you picked it. Same thing with the business name. You'll grab that from up above. Okay. Uh, I do caution you on this um, to be careful if you're doing this in uh, multi-location sites. Uh, you just want to make sure that you're not putting this offer markup here, this part of it, uh, across your site. You don't want this on more than one page in the same website. It would just it would look a little off. While it's completely all right to have your other info on all the pages of your site, like in a footer or something, I wouldn't put this offer markup in like a sidebar or a footer. I just use this on a per page basis because if I want to cover, let's say, 10 suburbs, I want actually 10 different markups made. Okay, so when I show you how to clone this info for another page or another area, I would change this for each city. You wouldn't want to just do this for a city and have it you know, across your entire website, all right? So for the sake of this, let's find um, a city near our monk here that we want to use it on, okay? So I'm actually just going to come back into Google here, and let's just find something that's close. Let's pretend I had a page for something that is close, okay? So I can just click this map, and let's see what's close to our monk, New York. All right, if we zoom out here a little bit, we ought to be able to find, let's just say we wanted a page for Pleasantville, okay? Let's say that was a suburb area that we wanted to cover, Pleasantville. All right, so what I would do is I would, we'll come back to this one here. I would put Pleasantville, New York in here, and I would come in, I would get a zip code for Pleasantville it'll let me go there. 10570 is Pleasantville. Okay, so 10570. And of course the country is going to be United States, again in our case. So we've selected the city that this page would be for. Remember, this markup would just be going on a city page. Okay, so 
I wouldn't be putting this on the R Monk page. I would grab this code separately and put it on just that city page, which when we get to selecting a code, I'll show you how to do that. So name of the offer, uh, let's say we do spray foam insulation. Let's say that's going to be really what we want to rank for, is spray foam insulation, Pleasantville, New York. I'd put that here, spray foam insulation, that's my keyword or my service. And then I put the rest of the info in and I'm good to go. All right, so this is your offer markup. This is how you fill it in. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to generate your short code or your HTML and how to pick different sections of this form, how to separate out the offer markup and how that whole process works. Okay. So we will be back in the next video to explain that, and then shortly thereafter, we will wrap up.